Knife crime is at a near record high, with more than 40 blade offences every day in London. Members of this gang in North London admit they've carried and used knives since the ages of 10 or 11 and have become embroiled in postcode rivalries with other gangs. If somebody touches me here, the whole, my whole gang will come to you, your whole family's getting killed. Mm. I have a way, if you touch me, I'm touching your whole family. Yeah. If you touch my brethren, if you touch him, 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 mm. I'm coming after you. The taller gang member with the red headscarf is an elder looked up to by the others, but it seems this group is given tasks by people higher up the chain in return for perceived protection or acceptance into the gang. We didn't choose this life. Right. I'm not going to speak about what happened to me, but I know that I didn't want this, but I had to do it, because if I didn't do it, I would die in like a couple of days. What do you mean you would have died in a couple of days? Can you just elaborate a little bit? Please, please, please. Don't, don't, yeah, don't, you don't talk about that. The elder shuts him up. People are dying over nothing, like stabbing each other for like nothing, just for the money and all that stuff. When you like, say just for the money, I mean, if you're stabbing someone, is there, where do you get the money from? Is it... <laughs> what do, you, do you know what I mean? Is it, is it you're saying, right, you're going to take over their clients? Are you going to rob them? I've got people that will call me and say they want someone hurt. Yeah. We get it. So if they want someone hurt, they make the phone call and we get it done. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It might not be certain people don't want to go on camera and rate tear, tear yeah, but sure. these things do happen, innit? And I'm not afraid to put it out there. That's, that's the life that I live. Do you know what I mean? But you, do you just want someone you don't even know yourself, but your mates told you... Yeah, even this more, the better, because they don't know who I am. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So yeah. if I hit them up, so nothing is going to come back to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to be uh, doing some intelligence slave patrols in the borough of Lambeth. Uh, this is what the Home Secretary hopes his new measures will tackle. Sajid Javid says he's increasing the powers of the police by introducing knife crime prevention orders, which can be imposed on youngsters over the age of 12. If they're suspected of carrying knives, police can put them under curfew, restrict their movements and access to social media. There'll be tougher measures too against retailers selling knives to children and a positive prevention campaign in the spring. It might mean restrictions in terms of curfews, even in terms of some of the relationships that they can have with the gang members. It can have a, a, a sort of order on a, making them maybe join a, a group that can help them exit from gangs. It can be an education program. It's all about preventing young people from turning to, onto a life on crime and actually understanding the risks of carrying a knife. But the Shadow Home Secretary says it's not enough. This may well be, these knife crime orders, they may well be too little too late because they're taking place against the background of deep cuts in the youth service and, you know, cuts in the number of police officers. I wonder if you were able to kind of sit down with the Prime Minister for a few minutes and say, I want to explain to you why I am involved in this life. What would you say? I'll tell the Prime Minister, I didn't choose this life, this life chose me. If they could come with some sort of opportunity, I would push the youths out there. But they've got nothing to do. What are they going to do? Sit on the streets wasting their life? What else can they do? I'll tell Theresa May to put some money into the youth. Investment in their communities and future opportunities is what they say they need. You wouldn't expect them to welcome tougher police powers. But they don't think it will reverse the trend in rising youth violence. Jason Farrell, Sky News.